guys. Welcome back to another video. This is the latest update. Microbial life, lofted into Earth's upper atmosphere could be sputtering into space thanks to collisions with interplanetary dust streams, potentially resulting in life being transported from planet to planet. The solar system is filled with dust, left over from the formation of the planets, produced by asteroid collisions and expelled by comets. Professor Arjun Barrera, a physicist at the University of Edinburgh, UK, has modeled how streams of interplanetary dust impact Earth's atmosphere at velocities of up to 70 km 43.5 miles per second. Writing in the journal Astrobiology, Barrera finds that the dust impacts provide enough energy to knock atmospheric molecules, as well as any organic matter or microbes that may exist at altitudes of 150 kilometers, 93 miles, free of Earth's gravity, and into space. The findings provide a potential mode of transport for organic matter between planets, raising the possibility that life could have begun elsewhere in the solar system before being transported to Earth, or vice versa. However, Barrera admits that there are caveats to his work. Number one is that no life has ever been found 150 kilometers above Earth's surface. However, there are ways to feasibly transport microbes up there, such as vertical winds in the upper atmosphere, and phenomena linked to thunderstorms such as sprites and blue jets. Another potential problem is the high velocity impacts of dust, particles striking microbes could kill them. Previous studies, says Barrera, have shown that bacteria can survive shock pressures of 50 gigapascal, and Barrera's calculations indicate that in some cases the dust collisions will inflict shock pressures less than that. However, he sees this as a major factor in limiting how many microbes can escape into space. Although Barrera's work shows how microbes could escape Earth, his research indicates that it is extremely difficult for any small organisms to escape Earth's gravity, since many things have to come together, he says. More research is now needed to assess what the concentration of biological material is high up in the atmosphere, how well it could withstand the violent blows of collisions with space dust and how well it could survive in space. Thank you guys for watching this video. Do like and share this video. And don't forget to click the subscribe button for more such future updates. Thank you.